discovered laser beams, the radio, neon lights, the induction motor, dematerialization devices, remote control torpedo boats? Would you believe that they were all discovered before the turn of the century and all by one man? His name is Nikola Tesla. A world famous figure throughout the Gilded Age, living among the 400 at the Waldorf Astoria, this great Serbian American died in virtual obscurity, although he was the undisputed inventor of the polyphase alternating current system, which lies at the heart of our industrial electronic age. Before Tesla's creation, electricity could only be sent about a mile. After him, it could be transported hundreds of miles. Armed with the great secret of this invention, the young college-educated Serbian came to America to work for the wizard of Menlo Park, Thomas Edison, the greatest inventor of all time. Edison, quite content with direct current, would hear none of the young visionary's discussion of what Edison thought were dangerous alternating currents. A bitter dispute arose over promised monies that were never delivered, and Tesla quit. Soon after, in 1888, Tesla built a working model of the induction motor and the 40 patent AC polyphase system and sold it to George Westinghouse for $1 million plus royalties. Battling Edison in the War of the Currents, Westinghouse was able to implement the Tesla system at the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. This mammoth undertaking, which comprised almost 10 square miles of buildings, parks, canals, and bridges, stood along Lake Michigan. Over 20 countries, including Germany, England, Spain, Ceylon, East India, and Siam, participated in this landmark exposition, which celebrated not only the 400th anniversary of the discovery of America, but also the new and spectacular age of technology. For the first time, the United States proclaimed itself a superpower. Leading the way to the coming world of electricity, Chicago's White City, as it was also named, became the first metropolis to be lit by the Tesla system. Now, a bon vivant of the gay 90s social elite, Tesla toured the world as a celebrity. Touted by many as the new Edison, the handsome inventor moved into the Waldorf Astoria, where he could dine with the likes of John Jacob Astor and Mark Twain, and invite them back to his magical laboratory. There, in the wizard's chambers, Tesla would perform fantastic electrical experiments. As a finale, he would send a million volts harmlessly through his body. In 1895, the Tesla system was used to harness Niagara Falls, and then it quickly spread throughout the globe. Tesla, however, had a greater dream. He planned to create a worldwide electrical system distributing light, voice, pictures, and also power by means of wireless transmission. In other words, he planned to usurp the invention he had sold to Westinghouse and do away with transmission lines altogether. In 1899, he built a 200-foot tall prototype of his magnifying transmitter in Colorado Springs, high in the Rocky Mountains to send impulses to China or Australia, or maybe even to a nearby planet. By tapping the resonant frequency of the Earth and transforming electrical energies to higher frequencies, Tesla created 60-foot lightning bolts, ball lightning with accompanying thunder, laser-like beams, and he illuminated light bulbs by means of wireless at distances of 25 miles. During one cosmic moment, while tracking thunderstorms 600 miles away, Tesla claimed to have received pulsed frequencies from outer space. He speculated that they were messages from Venus or Mars. In 1901, before the seeds of this interplanetary tale had taken root to lead to his ultimate loss of credibility and ruin, Tesla had formed a partnership with J. Pierpont Morgan, 
then the most powerful financier of his day. Tesla worked with architect Stanford White, designer of the original Madison Square Garden and Niagara Falls Power Plant, and lover of 16-year-old Evelyn Nesbitt. With White's creativity and Tesla's vision, they drew blueprints for a 200-acre turn-of-the-century radio city. Tesla erected a gigantic 15-story transmission tower on Long Island. He was hoping to illuminate the Paris Exposition of 1902 by sending energy through the earth and air from his magnifying transmitter situated on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. This project was never completed as Morgan refused to supply additional funds when they were needed. Tesla, mad scientist of the Gilded Age, will take us back to the turn of the century and relive the fantastic encounters this electrical genius had with such men as Edison, Westinghouse, White, and Twain. The secrets of Tesla's strange life, peculiar love for his best friend's wife, and relationship with J. Pierpont Morgan will be revealed for the first time. And thus the world will know the truth about the man who is considered by those who know to be the world's greatest inventor.